the number one body language professional in the world. Clients include leading business people, politicians, presidents of Fortune 500 companies, and prime ministers. He's written best-selling books about body language and human behavior. Mark Bowden. So, great to be here with you. Talking about non-verbal communication, or what many people call body language, and how you can use your body language on purpose in order to stand out, to win trust, to gain credibility, but also to achieve extraordinary results. I've experienced going on in front of thousands, and in some cases, millions of audience. You aren't predestined to be a great communicator. You learn that. Everything can be learned. So, you've already decided whether you like me or not. <laughs> and you did that within a fraction of a second of seeing me. You made that unconscious choice the moment I walked on. With so many people on the planet, it's amazing to wonder how the brain actually copes with this. We've got an old reptilian brain. In evolutionary terms, it's probably 500 million years old. Everybody around you uses that part of their brain to make snap judgments about you. And based on behavior, it decides, should we approach this person? Are they going to be good for us? Or should we retreat because they're going to be a huge risk? Seven billion people on the planet right now. There's a multitude that you could do business with to realize these extraordinary results. Seven billion people on the planet right now. Right now, today, you've passed by thousands of people, thousands of people, but yet how many do you remember? Yeah, my guess is very little. We are designed to be indifferent to each other. Your customers, your clients, your teams, they're designed, if no other data, to just treat you indifferently. And you know you can't get the results if you're feeling like that about them and they're feeling like that about you. What category do you need to get into to win trust, to gain credibility, and to profit every time you work with people? Of course, it's friend. Friend category whereby they're going to judge you as positive, a benefit. They're going to come away with more than they went in with. And if they give that category to you, then they're going to have a positive bias towards you and your content. It's called the eyebrow flash, OK? The eyebrows <laughs> flash up. In fact, sometimes I sustain it for a long time, yeah? And this is a universal signal for, I recognize you, I know you, you're my friend, you're a friend of the family. You can do this walking down the street. You walk down a street like this and you go, hello. Yeah. And literally, it triggers their primitive brain and they're like, oh, hey, hey, good to meet you. When was it we last, yeah, no, it was last week, wasn't it? And how, yeah, how are the kids? And, and, and after about five minutes, they're like, so where do I know you from? And you're like, you don't, bye-bye. <laughs> And off you go. Fantastic. You can try it. It's not the strongest or the most intelligent of the species that survive. It's the most adaptable to change. Now, change is not coming. Change is here in the room with you. It's not going to be about your individual strength or your team strength. It's not going to be about your intelligence. It will be about your adaptability, both in your mindset and to reach that from your behavior. Choose your behavior to get the results you want and you need. Thank you very much. Thank you.